Mine workers at Nodak Electric Cooperative in Grand Forks, North Dakota don't miss the days of carting around a clumsy, outdated map book, paging through it to find their way to the remote areas of the co-op's service territory. Today, with a touch of their fingers, line workers can view the entire co-op system by a simple tap to an iPad tablet while it downloads files from a cloud. We're not talking about the white fluffy mass of water vapor floating in the atmosphere type of cloud. This kind of cloud is a virtual data center. It is filled with processing power, storage, software, and other computing services. Users gain access to the cloud through a web browser, making it accessible to mobile devices like tablets, smartphones, and laptops, as well as desktops and servers. This cloud computing system is just what Nodak was looking for when it first decided to streamline its mapping system in the winter of 2011. Nodak chose the iPad tablet because it met their objectives of being user-friendly, easy to navigate, and easy to centrally administer. Once the maps, covering more than 8,200 square miles, were uploaded to the iCloud and the apps were developed, the program wow. began. We're looking at different ways to produce our maps uh, for our crews to get from point A to point B. Uh, we've been producing map books and they're approximately an inch and a half thick. Uh, it took a lot of time to produce and a lot of time to update and maintain. Uh, we decided to look at uh, laptops and they didn't really provide the answer that we were looking for. iPad is a slim, light, easy to use piece of equipment that uh, we're more than happy with. It's, it's worked out great. This could work out great. We have some samples out there and uh, the guys are taking to them very well. In January 2012, Nodak decided to test the iPads with a pilot project, beginning with the Finley crew, which includes crew foreman David Bragg, lead lineman Jeff Sloan, and journeyman lineman Morris Karboviak and Chris Hovland. pages in the map book and we can scroll from one map to the other at uh, in a flick of a finger. In the past, as soon as maps were printed, they were already out of date. The maps cost about $170 each and the co-op printed over 100 books every two years. The crew foreman has access to information anywhere with 3G capabilities while the others use wireless service where available. And each night when they return to the shop, they connect to the cloud to update system maps to keep them current. The family crew's been at it for about a month, and uh, uh, what we did was uh, told them, uh, get rid of your old map books and rely solely on the iPad. So, so th this is a real true test. But digitized mapping was only the beginning. Line Patrol is just one example of how Nodak's use of the iPad came from suggestions from the crews. For example, the app for Line Patrol takes a process which used to involve six or seven steps and narrows it down to two. Right now what our, our Line Patrol is able to do is we've created a form. They submit the form electronically and the, the form, once it, uh, once it comes back in, there's an import process into the database automatically. So there's two touches with the data instead of one or instead of six or seven. So we've, we've streamlined a number of different processes. New features such as the ability to leave a virtual post-it note on the map will help crews communicate in real time. This instant communication is also helpful for testing the status of radios and meters. Testing on site eliminates the need for metering technicians to call dispatch or to drive back to the office to check if equipment is working properly. Also, from the field, meters can be searched in or checked to see if they are integrated into the system from the field after being installed. Uh, it looks like it's, it's going to be a success. We've had no major issues with them at all. So it, uh, I, I see no reason why uh, once everything is all in place, we'll, we'll uh, purchase a bunch of them and uh, get them in all the crew members' hands. Nodak eventually plans to place the iPad in the hands of all line workers to continue offering the most innovative, reliable service to its members.